Good evening. Welcome to our grade 12 parent evening. We will start the day this evening with a prayer. I invite Mr. DeJulius to lead us in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we gather in your holy name to help our students as they begin their grade 12 year at Kearney. Bless each of us, students, parents, and staff, with strength and enthusiasm. May we face this year with energy and a strong commitment to succeed. May Jesus, your Son, be our way, our truth, and our life. May we recognize his presence among us, and may we follow the example of love that he shared, especially for each other and for all those we serve. May we help our students, your sons and daughters, learn to recognize the gifts they possess and realize their potential. May we give them the confidence and knowledge they need to achieve their dreams. May they be blessed for all that they do, and may they be encouraged to share their gifts and talents. Let them be supported as they risk, as they give, and as they grow in body, mind, spirit, and faith, so that together we will make the love and message of Christ known here on earth. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Mr. DeJulius. Now, to give you an an overview of this evening. We will start this evening with me talking about graduation requirements for our grade 12 students. Then we will have Mr. Harris who will talk about the scholarships that's available to all our students along with the post-secondary day virtual fair that will be happening this year. Finally, we will have Mrs. Jody Sussex, our vice principal who will talk about graduation events. Now, you will receive a lot of information this evening, but please don't panic. We will have this posted on our student services website, so you can look at it at your own leisure. As mentioned earlier, this is our agenda for this evening. Looking towards the graduation program requirements, every student needs 80 cr uh, credits to graduate. Our students normally graduate with over 100 credits. We have done a diploma verification report to see that all our students are set to graduate at the end of grade 12. One of the major uh, completions is the career ed graduation capstone plan that is required by our, by our students. This does include 30 hours of volunteered or paid work experience. They will also be presenting a capstone project at the end of this uh, year. And the ideas for these will be presented during their CLC or Career Life Connections block. For more information on this, please do contact Mrs. Kanoki, our uh, Cap Career Ed Department Head. Looking at graduation credits, students could have external credits that come from musical instrument, uh, driver's education, dance, or sports, please do not hesitate to contact Mrs. Treveri, who will be able to add these credits onto their transcript. We also have students that take uh, courses outside of Kearney through distributed learning. If you have any of these courses uh, lined up, please do contact Mr. Santos, who takes care of distributed learning. There is also the language challenge exam that is run by the Delta School Board. The registration for this year is November 5th, 2021. The exams are held on Jan 29th and Jan 30th of 2022. Now, for grade 12 students, all grade 12 students need to be taking English Studies 12. They need to finish all the current graduation program requirements before they graduate. The main assessments that are written for our students to graduate is the grade 10 literacy and the grade 10 numeracy assessments. These assessments were written by our students last year. New for this year is the grade 12 literacy assessment. This year, our students will take the grade 12 literacy assessment 
on Friday, January the 28th, 2022. Now I invite Mr. Harris to talk about our scholarship and awards program, along with the post-secondary virtual fair day that will be happening. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the different scholarships that are available. And so we have some scholarships and bursaries that are offered from the Ministry of Education. We have some scholarships that are entrance offered by the universities. We have some scholarships that are offered by different companies or private individuals. And then we also have some scholarships that are offered by Archbishop Carney. So when we look at the different scholarships that are available, one of the ones that we wanna talk about from the Ministry of Education is the Dogwood District Authority Scholarship. This is a big one, it's 1,250 and it's for fine arts and applied skills and for athletes and languages, community service. There's a huge variety of criteria or areas that you can enter from. And this is one that we've had some great success with. Uh, last year, 14 out of the 15 people who applied for this scholarship were successful and won the award. If we then turn around and we look at the um, VC Achievement Scholarship, so this is something that happens by the ministry, it goes to the top 8,000 graduates. We then take a look at the Pathway to Teacher Education Scholarship. This is um, again offered by the ministry. We then also have another one that, uh, that we wanna look at and that's our Kearney Scholarship Award Program. So this is where our school has put together a number of scholarships for our students. This is something where you will apply through Google Classroom. There's a bit of a, an entrance package. Uh, one of the things you'll need to have uh, up to date is your biographical resume. There's more information about this all on your Google Classroom. When we look at post-secondary admission, post-secondary admission, I will always say to you after I give you the information that the most up-to-date resource is the post-secondary institution uh, website. So even though I might have some information, Theirs is always the most up to date. And so that's the one that you want to be familiar with. I'll always send you there. If you need help connecting with a recruiter or an academic advisor, that's definitely something that I can help you with. If we look at post-secondary planning, a really good resource is the educationplannerbc.ca. And so that'll be used in concert with virtual post-secondary day. Virtual post-secondary day is where all of the public accredited post-secondary institutions in British Columbia are going to have a a fair basically, but it's all online. So registration is on the September 24th, but then you also have all of these different uh, times when you can go and view and talk to the different recruiters from the different schools. Again, all this information will be on your Google Classroom. So then we have scholarships and bursaries. Uh, all of this information about the various bursaries and scholarships that come across my desk, I post them both in Google Classroom as a question so that you have to say, yes, I would like more information or no, thank you. Uh, I don't think this is for me. We also put them for parents to view with the due dates on the student services website. We then take a look at some information about transcripts. If you need a paper copy of a transcript, this is important, particularly for out of province, usually takes about a minimum of a week and you get six free transcripts from the school. And after that, it's $5 for each record. Uh, we're also going to be taking some time and we're gonna walk the students through the student transcript service. Uh, this is something that all students will, um, will need so that the universities can access your student record. Reference letters, if you're gonna do a reference letter, you gotta give the teachers about one to two weeks, give them a copy of the criteria. What are they looking for? This would be a reference letter for a job, for a program, for anything where you need to have some sort of uh, character reference. It's a great idea to give your biographical resume to the uh, teacher that's giving you the reference, because although we should know you and we feel pretty confident and we probably gave you most of those awards, uh, it's great to have them all listed so that we get a larger sense. All this information is available in your Google Classroom. So the last bit of information that I have for you about student services, it's just some of the things uh, or services that we provide. If you'd like to meet with either myself uh, or Mrs. Fernandez, that's definitely something that you can do. Send us an email. We're definitely available for one-on-one -on -one academic advising. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it over to Mrs. Jody Sussex, our new vice principal, and she's going to be helping us with all of the information surrounding graduation ceremonies this year. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jody Sussex. I'm the vice principal here at Archbishop Kearney. 
and the coordinator of the grad events. So tonight I'll be sharing a few of the events we have planned and different committees that have been offered. But of course, in light of the situation we are in this year, I can't be fully transparent with what our intentions are. We want this to be a really exciting year for your child. Grade 12, their graduation should be a lot of great things to look forward to. Um, and we are excited to offer whatever we can for them. Um, but just keep in mind that some of these things may change based on the health orders. So our first of the graduation events is the graduation portraits. So the dates are here on the slide. Um, notice will be sent home from Life Touch regarding uh, any COVID procedures and plans that you can do to prepare for this day. So again, some of the events for us to look forward to this year are our graduation breakfast and mass. Those are scheduled for June the 8th and they will remain that day. We're very optimistic that there shouldn't be any challenges of celebrating the mass and breakfast. Graduation commencement ceremony, um, it is up in the air whether it will be at the Massey Theater this year or we may continue to offer it here at Archbishop Kearney. Some more details to follow. And again, graduation dinner dance, there is um, a date held at the Hyatt. However, there's a lot to be sorted out um, regarding this event and the safety of that event and the success of that event. So more information to come. I wanna thank you for participating in this. If you have any questions, please reach out to the people um, on the slide here. We want this to be a wonderful year for your child. So again, thank you very much and uh, God bless.